Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number 17 of Direwolf 20. So last episode we started the awesomeness that is the automation with, well not only started but even finished the automation for our atomic reconstructor and mm, block form stuff. So pretty awesome things here. Then we also made ourselves the cactus farm and got into a little bit more stuff from actually additions, started to prepare our farming stuff, the canola press and that. And between the episodes I was kind of busy. You probably also have noticed I moved that thing over here, our cactus farm, just to tad them over here. So actually two blocks, probably, yeah, two blocks, because if we take a look, boom, you can see particle effect going up until here, if he hits the scanner itself. And that happens sometimes when the thing just kind of drops a little bit. And just to be safe, I moved it, because when you hit sand with the atomic reconstructor, you get soul sand. Yes. And of course cactus on soul sand, yeah, not really working that well. Oh, actually not at all because it was falling down and I was like, why is there soul sand? I did not place that. And I'm pretty sure there is no mob in Minecraft that actually transforms sand into soul sand or any block at all. But today, Merry Christmas for all. Well, not quite, but tomorrow is the 24th and some holidays are also coming up. So Merry Christmas. And because I don't have any backlog over the Christmas holidays next week, there will be a pause. Yes, it's happening. Every now and then, yes, you know me. I also like to not play a little bit of Minecraft. I just play other stuff, but that uh, completely lost my, what I was saying, yeah. So next week no episodes, but we will come back in fresh and crazy as usual next year. The first episode will be the 2nd, 2nd of January, the Monday, probably, I think it's the 2nd, the 3rd. Yeah, one of those days. The, the one that's coming. And that's the Monday in the new year will be the first episode of the new year with some more shenanigans. But before we do get there, we first have to do some more automation and it's night time and I should really sleep through the night. Especially we have still no armor except the bubble, the minus the monocle and I don't think it's doing anything protect us. Yeah, nope, 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 nope. It's not happening. Well, maybe if some mob wants to poke us in the eye, just if he does it on the other eye, yeah, no. So let's see, we have loads of things in our inventory, loads of machines, because first of all, we have to, ooh, yeah, the word I forgot, the draws, the draws wanted to prepare them and then I was like, yeah, prepared everything and nope. Draws. Yeah, we still have loads of them. <laughs> it's still from the time when I wanted to make the awesome, or when I made the awesome storage area that we have downstairs. Well, I got a little bit crazy with draws. Made two stacks of them, yes. <laughs> So let's try to not break our legs too much. Nah, it's okay. So first of all, the canola seed farm. F nope, that's not where you should be. Uh, how are you going to... Mm, are you doing that side? Probably. And I maybe should also get an X odd. Especially if we are now going to handle a few storage drawers. And as you guys and girls probably know me, yeah, there are bound to happen 
some mishappen stuff, clicking things. And there should be actually a cobble. And of course I don't have any cobble with me. That's also really good. Mm. So, let's see. Down here we have some canola seeds. But we have access to our farmer. He of course needs energy, needs to get items into him, the seeds. And uh, actually, bleh, huh, let's see where are my energy conduits. Let's see how this is going to be set up. I actually have never set up a farm of those, but I'm guessing it shouldn't be that hard to do. Probably, maybe. Uh, let's place you here. Of course, I should have charged you at least a little bit. Well, yeah, let's snack him. And then go charge him really quick. Ah, yeah, I made a little area down below. Nothing fancy, just some cobblestone. Nothing that you can't wait to see when we get there. Basically just down there. And then I moved also the cable that I said that I will probably never move down there. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, sometimes I do stuff. Sometimes. So you get some energy, yeah, how much do we want to give him? 500, yeah, 500 sounds about a good number, or oh, 510, yes. Awesome, now that you have energy, let's go down here. And also already set up the item conduit before we hook you down because otherwise well you know how it is everything will spill everywhere so how are we going to map probably like that can be our storage drawers and we actually just need two of you so probably a better mm, better looking maybe probably so you need to be that and then that into there and there but you are the input and you are an input too because you are getting canola seeds and canola plants so the canola seeds let's see they will come from there you will be extract insert on green x Extract snare insert on brown and extract on green always active nice now that we have that we need to do some stuff with them with the canola presses of course which will be three pieces and like that you clear canola presses need some energy and some items so energy can be there and items too can be there you will be disabled perfect you will be an insert on the blue channel why not come on insert on the blue uh, insert on blue nice so we do need both of them in and out insert green one can be blue well we will see where what lands and you will be the same perfect that's done you should get energy as soon as we plop the capacitor bank down then from here you will produce ourselves some good old oil which we have to place down in some fermenting barrels well you will produce canola something canola liquids canola oil and canola oil can be f fermented uh, where is it canola let's see Canola can in a fermenting barrel into oil and then oil into crystallized canola seeds uh, to crystallized oil. Yeah, that's also something I prepared, which we will do. 
because it's uh, extreme boost in energy and we also have another atomic heal constructor with some other stuff that we will all set up so that everything should be mostly automated so you guys can be here you will be extract always active extract always active and so do we nope you nope mm, west always active thank you very much so you are an insert west nope east insert east and insert another one and the last one perfect all of them insert oil into them and then from here let's see how are we going to have this set up you know what i probably would like a lot more if you peeps would come to me and be there and there yeah, maybe yeah why not eh, yeah should look nice so you'll be in and out no that's not what i want to do north uh, in and out and south also in and out perfect now that's done so the oil will go into fluid placer why do i have two fluid placers mm, fluid the, 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 the collector was the auto breaker and the buckets and of course I dubbed and probably made the wrong thing let's see if we can auto craft them mm, auto no nope. mm. The, 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 the fluids nope we can just make the placer yeah let me come back in a second and teach that to our system and then we will continue on our thing so be back in a second okay we are back and i got probably everything most likely hopefully but that's as usual something we will see in a second so where are we going to have this contraption be probably around here so you can be there we need a hole we need you we need some stuff here and here and that's good 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 fluid collector of course on the other side mm, are you Oh, no, you are correct. Thank you. That's what I want to see. So we have two scanners. First you and second is you. Perfect. We then will also need a precision dropper right on top of you. Bam. With that we should have almost everything. So you... Mm, redstone thought there you are uh, uh pulse mode and you are pulse mode no you are always on and you are the fluid collector for the thing perfect so we are going to need also some circuitry here of course we also will need an inventory checker which can stay up there and we'll output the signal to here which is good 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 what else are we going to need probably a bucket worth of oil which of course we don't have because yeah 
we probably also should hook you up. So you fluid blazer, get a connection to all that stuff there. Mm, let's see, can we hopefully, yeah, maybe do that from here? Should be fine, probably. Brighterized fluid conduits. Uh, extract always on. And extract always on. Hopefully we have enough cables. Probably not. Most likely not. Extract and now from there to there. Oh yes, really? Yeah, but we will need some more of that stuff. Inserts, awesome. So let's place maybe a bit of stuff down there. So it's not looking that ugly. Well, it's already completely ugly, but meh. there you go. Maybe for setting that up, but since it's downstairs, meh. We are not really going to care about that, right? Or do we? Nah. So right in the center here will be our main circuitry because we will also have to do some stuff over here with our arcane atomic reconstruct or something thingy. Uh, so you are set on pulse mode, the automatic precision dropper can chill out right here. Mm, let's do it one over here. Awesome. You will get the thing over here. And maybe also you should be better placed down here. Awesome. That should be also on the same height, right? No, it's not. <sighs> yeah, but that's not a problem. Not really. It's actually quite better if it's not. Yeah, let's keep it that way. So you will be closed up like that. And no, maybe, yeah, maybe not that side. Well, at least the other one. Yeah, that's kind of right. We need, of course, also some energy into you. You can come in from here. Perfect. Now, what else are we going to need? Mm, not really that much, but you are already on pulse mode. You are set to pulse, to pulse and you are the scanners. Awesome. Now, the basic thing how this should work should be like that something. Let's do you like that. Okay, we have a lot of circuitry here. Basically, you produce stuff, place it in there, boom, and as soon as we hit 1000 uh, millibarcats, you place it down. You scanner then check, okay, it's, ooh, ooh, we have some oil here. Give them that one a signal, which plops down the thing. The thing here then changes, you stop outputting the pulse signal, boom, so you stop dropping. You st do the scanning and see, oh, 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 we got a crystallized oil bucket. You then give a pulse to the collector, which collects it, boom. And that gets transferred into our oil generators that we will place kind of around here. We just don't have the fluid cables at the moment to do it, but we are going to make the circuitry. You, my dear inventory checker here, are checking. Do we have seats in there? Do we have well, at least half a stack? Or well, 16 will be enough. 16 of the seats. The crystallized seats. If not, then please give a signal so that you contraption over here can start running. Which will be... Mm, Actually, we actually don't need an inventory checker right here. 
Mm, or maybe do we? Do we want? And we will see. So you the drop starts dropping stuff. A few seconds later, you drop more stuff, and then we need a vacuum chest. That I also totally forgot. The vacuum chest then says, blue, 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 blue. "We need to do stuff. Suck it up, please." We could actually have the vacuum chest right here. With filter, sucks up the crystallized atomic reconstructed stuff, and blue, 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 drops into into here. You stop outputting the signal, which then stops this whole contraption here. I think we can do that. Should be pretty easy, it's just a little bit working and fimbling with the timers. But that should be a big problem. So the first step we need to do, we need to get a vacuum chest. Yeah, that's something. Did I teach the system how to make the vacuum chest or did I make that manually last time? Yes, we know it. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Do we know how to make filters? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Love it. You gotta love auto crafting. It's just oh. vacuum chest. Boom. Done and done, and that should be about it. We needed some more fluid cables, but that's not really that important right now. Let's see. Do we need something else? No, not really. Nah, should be fine. If not, we can s always come back here. Not that big of a run. I mean, come on. What? It's it. Yeah, you are grown. Awesome. Took them forever this time. I mean, come on, what the heck is going on? So, we need to go to the end to get ourselves some endstone. Okay, maybe sleeping? Nah, down here we should be fine. Probably. So, end of all, you are going under my nerves already. Nah, not really. So, let's see, where do we start? Probably with him here. So, oh yeah, paint, palette, and brush, which is pretty easy made by just a paintbrush and a palette. Palette is some tiny plates, which is a redstone circuit with them, and a little bit of the good old stone and the paintbrush, just the usual stickiness and wood and woolly things. Used up quite a wood, <laughs> bit of wool between the episodes making also the tiny bundled wire which is tiny piles of redstone with a little bit of string and yellow wool so yeah you can imagine 33 times 4 or yeah times 4 yeah it's lots of them yeah. i was afraid we would not have enough but we still have about 500 something <laughs> we actually don't remember farming all that much which is always a good thing because farming is not something we care to do not the manual kind of course and now let's see so you get a signal from maybe where could we put that signal because we need of course to see about the faces of the thing uh you could actually come down straight here and be an input right here and of course we need that one so with Alt you can choose the color and the crystallized seeds look about reddish so you will be a red input and where is my screwdriver? Yeah so you boom and you get into some bundled cable Eh, almost. So, you then will output signal to him, which will be white. And you are an output, but we don't need you. You will come from that one. Awesome. Okay. 
so from here we will see you can be that and you can be our vacuum chests which is here boom you will configure it to be a white listed something with one in front of you no we can actually blacklist the canola seed something do we have some canola seeds we want? nope of course not of course not so let's get some canola seeds thank you and it means we could actually also do you and nope not that that one boom you so let's see let's see let's see let's see what else probably close up the thing here wouldn't be a bad idea you can go back boom canola seeds are blacklisted nope mm, there you go the canola seed so you suck up the other seed that you get which is nice so you will do that uh, let's remove you here for now you can be that and you need to be a pulse giver hmm. you can be green you are red so you here need to be the green one and what we probably should do make you the same color so red is that one and green will be that one Oops. nope that's not what i want to do boop 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 no you're not boop boop that's done some more bundled cable mm, here and here perfect so green will be the one up there mm, yes that should be correct so you get a green signal into him and when you get a red signal to him you shoot a thing which then transforms the seeds into the crystallized seeds which you then suck up and transfer over to there magically by some means that we have to do by item conduits of course so let's get a few item conduits you of course have no connection boom 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 and you really what would we say if we move that thing all over one yeah that needs to happen because well you know why you just saw why so you are here you are removed collector needs to be there placer needs to be there the two scanners need to be here and here boom and boom and we can close up that ugliness over here good 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 oh well, now we can have connection to him into there insert that extract always active which is nice inventory checker right on top of here which can actually be there that's why not so mm, oh, ouch. that was the cables mm, you can get connection from there down here and we need no come on really we need at least one of that to be connected so what would we say if we would have that here 
And that here. that why not so we can have the green thing are you still configured for green yes you are awesome and that good 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 no that's actually not what i wanted to do you should be here. That's what I wanted to do. Really? Are we already really kidding me? Okay, that's not oh yeah, I should remove the things. And we are past the point where we should finish up the episode. Okay, so I think this is actually a really great cliffhanger for the pause. Oh yes, so let's say we finish up the episode here. I will think about the stuff that we actually need. I thought we could do that actually kind of random and improvised, but apparently I'm completely doping at the moment, so nope. So, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the first part of the automation for our awesome energy collection production something for the oil stuff that's coming. And for now, of course, should you have enjoyed that, I would appreciate if you guys and girls could drop me a like. And of course, should you be new to the channel, you could consider yourself also subscribing. And for now, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.